oceans. We know that nearly 70% of the Earth's surface is water. There are different kinds of water bodies based on their sizes and boundaries. The larger stretches of water which separate the continents are called oceans. The smaller bodies are known as seas, gulfs, bays, channels and straits. Let us learn more about them. Sea It is a smaller body of salt water which is partly enclosed by a landmass. It is connected to an ocean. Sometimes a sea is completely enclosed by land. For example, the Caspian Sea. Gulf. It is a large part of an ocean or sea that is partially enclosed by land. It has a narrower mouth than a bay. Strait. It is a narrow passage of water connecting two seas or two large areas of water like two large lakes or a lake and a sea. Bay It is a body of water partly enclosed by land. It is smaller than a gulf but with a wider mouth. Channel It is a passage of water that is wider than a strait. Cove It is a small coastal inlet with a narrow restricted entrance. It is smaller than a bay. These are all bodies of salt water. Do you know why and how the water gets salty? The rivers carry crushed rocks with them as they flow down the mountains and across the plains till they finally empty themselves into the seas or oceans. We owe all the salt due to the river deposits of crushed rock. This natural phenomenon has been happening for countless number of years. The Earth's vast stretches of water are divided into five oceans and many seas. Actually, there is only one world ocean, one continuous body of salt water. There are no real borders and the water flows around freely. Based on the continents that frame them, the world ocean has been divided into five major oceans. In decreasing order of size, these are the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. Let us learn more about them. Pacific Ocean The Pacific Ocean is the largest and the deepest ocean. It extends from the Arctic Ocean in the north all the way to the Southern Ocean in the south. It separates the North and South America from Asia and Australia. The Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean is the deepest point of our planet. It is around 36,000 feet deep. 
trench is a long narrow deep depression in the ocean bed or in the ground Atlantic Ocean The Atlantic Ocean is the second largest ocean It is almost S shaped as it skirts Europe and Africa to the east and the North and South America to the west The Mid-Atlantic Ridge on the floor of the Atlantic Ocean is one of the longest mountain ranges in the world. Ridge is a long chain of mountains or hills. It has many high peaks which form islands in the ocean. This is a very unique feature of this ocean. Indian Ocean The Indian Ocean is the third largest ocean. It has Asia to the north, Africa to the west, Australia to the east, and the Southern Ocean to the south. It is named after India, the only ocean which is named after a country. Southern Ocean The Southern Ocean is also known as the Antarctic Ocean. It encircles the continent of Antarctica. In 2080, the International Hydrographic Organization labeled this as the fifth ocean, which includes the southern portion of the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and the Indian Ocean. It lies in the southern hemisphere. Lastly, Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean is the smallest and the shallowest of the oceans. It is located in the northern hemisphere, mostly within the Arctic Circle. It is mostly covered with ice. Russia, Norway, Iceland, Greenland, Canada, and United States are the six countries that border the Arctic Ocean. Marine life. The oceans are the largest natural habitat on our planet. A huge variety of creatures live there, from the tiniest microorganisms that can only be seen under a microscope to the largest creature on earth, the blue whale. These are some of the earth's most unusual creatures living in the waters of our oceans. Did you know plants in the ocean are extremely important to all life on planet earth algae in the ocean absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and provide much of the earth's oxygen phytoplankton are the smallest but the most important marine plants they form the basis of the marine food chain